we will cover the steps to create a bootable Windows USB drive using only native Windows tools and commands. Microsoft provides the Create Windows 11 installation media tool for making bootable USB devices, but it only works for specific use cases and does not work with all Windows ISO files. Although there are other third-party tools to create bootable USB devices, there may be cases where those tools cannot be used or are not authorized or allowed. In this video, we will create a bootable Windows USB device that can be used to install any version of Windows from Windows 7 to Windows 11, from Windows Server 2012 to the upcoming Windows Server 2025. This bootable USB device will boot to newer UEFI-based and older BIOS-based system, including those with Secure Boot enabled. Obtain your Windows installation media. You can go to either the Microsoft Windows Download website, the Microsoft Evaluation Center, your Microsoft Visual Studio Subscriptions Portal, the Microsoft Windows Insider Program website, or your volume license source. Your installation media can also be a custom Windows ISO created via the Windows Assessment and Deployment Kit, Windows ADK. See my video here on how to create a custom WinPE USB drive using Windows ADK. Create a local folder to hold the contents of the ISO file. Here, I'm going to create C colon backslash ISO dash extract. Double click your ISO file to mount to a drive letter. In my case, that drive letter is D. Copy the contents from the mounted ISO file to C colon backslash ISO dash extract. Delete C colon backslash ISO dash extract slash sources slash install dot WIM. Open an administrative PowerShell session or Windows terminal. Since the default install dot WIM file is too large for a FAT32 volume, we need to split it into smaller segments. To do this, we will use the DISM utility. Type this command. If your paths differ, adjust accordingly. The DISM command takes the install.wim file from the D drive and creates two files, install.swim and install2.swim, each of which are less than four gigabytes, allowing them to fit on a FAT32 volume. Since the USB drive will be a FAT32 volume, the partition for Windows cannot be larger than 32 gigabytes. Blame this guy for the 32 gigabyte limitation. If you have a USB drive larger than 32 gigabytes, no problem. In the administrative PowerShell session, type get-disk and note the disk number. In this example, the disk number is 6. Type get dash disk dash number 6 pipe to clear dash disk dash remove data to totally clear the disk. Acknowledge the warning. Type the following commands. You now have a Windows OS bootable USB drive that works with UEFI and BIOS systems. Open Disk Management. The remaining unallocated space on a USB drive does not need to go to waste. We can create a store volume for other files and uses. Right click 
Unallocated Space, select New Simple Volume. Click Next, followed by Next. Assign a drive letter, click Next. Leave the format as NTFS and add a volume label if desired. Click Next, followed by Finish. Your USB drive now has two partitions, one bootable 16 gigabyte FAT32 partition and a second NTFS partition. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something new, and found it useful. If you have any feedback, corrections, or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and pass it on to others. And I thank you for watching.